Uh, good morning. Uh, first of all, uh, welcome to our webinar and thank you very much to join us this morning to talk, to talk about our uh, partner, VAV, and about the cosmetic charisma of phospholipids, this uh, very special uh, range of uh, ingredients. Uh, just let me introduce myself. My name is Milena. I'm a technical sales account of the uh, cosmetic department of Amic Italia. Uh, I'm very happy to have uh, with me today my colleagues of uh, VAV, uh, Genovi, for the marketing uh, um, for the marketing aspects, and Tomvi uh, for the technical aspects. Uh, at the end, we will be at your disposal for uh, any questions. So, shall we start? Well, um, I personally knew a VAV company since uh, I think more than 10 years. Our companies had uh, many contacts in the last years and uh, last year we decided to start a cooperation. So Amic Italia was selected as distributor for a cosmetic lecithin and phospholipids of VAV for the European market. So thanks again VAV for uh, this opportunity. Just let me give you very short information about our companies, as someone of you didn't know very well uh, before. Uh, Amic Italia uh, is a company founded in 1976. We are based in Milan. Uh, we are a trading company specialized in uh, chemicals and raw materials for industries. Uh, we, um, we, are, uh, we work in different sectors. Cosmetics is one of the most important ones, and we are active in more than 20 countries around the world. Our cosmetic uh, division is focused on high value and functional ingredients for hair care, first of all, our high historical care business, but also uh, cleansing, skincare, and makeup. What about VAV? Uh, VAV Lipids uh, is a company established in 2009 and focused on uh, innovation and specialized in phospholipids and lecithin. It is a subsidiary of VAV Group, founded in 2003 by Mr. Arun Kedia, uh, with the focus to provide lipid-based solutions to pharma, nutra, and cosmetic industries. The manufacturing process adheres to the most stringent pharma standards to meet the qualitative demands of all the segments. Uh, we can describe VAV as uh, in terms of innovation, quality and reliability. In today's date, the company is recognized as a significant player in the global phospholipid market. Europe is one of the major ones. We decided to make this webinar today uh, to talk more about lecithins and phospholipids because they are a real natural gift to beauty. Uh, We're talking about very special and unique uh, cosmetic ingredients uh, thanks to their special properties. They are suitable for all type of <laughs> cosmetic application especially for a functional cosmetics and for the treatment of some skin problem like dermatitis, eczema, uh, dryness or acne. Uh, sometimes people think that lecithins are so technical and so complicated ingredients to be used. While with a good evaluation at the beginning about the type of formulation to develop the type of lecithin to use and how to use it, you can quite easily obtain great results in terms of emulsification, stabilization of your formulation, development of a stable and effective carrier system, lovely skin feeling and texture, completely safe and compliant with your skin. Uh, when you formulate with lecithins, you are you have also to keep in mind that uh, you are using at the same time a real functional active ingredient for both your skin and hair because multifunctionality is one of the most important plus of uh, these products. So why you have to evaluate VAV products? Uh, on the market, there are mainly two different types of approach 
from the manufacturer and supplier of uh, lecithins and phospholipids. One approach is to sell a blend involving lecithins. The second approach, that is VAV approach, is to work on pure lecithin and pure phospholipids. Of course, we can offer different grades, different fraction, different purity, but we don't sell blend. The reason why is that you don't really need to use a blend because uh, uh, the, in that blend, the real effective and functional component is lecithin. So you can use lecithin, lecithin alone. And we will see later how it can be very easy also to formulate using a single lecithin or a single phospho phospholipid. So to answer to your question, why VAV? Uh, because we offer a full range of natural lecithin and phospholipids from different sources. Uh, we can offer a proper solution for each type of formulation, including water-based solution, water-based form formulation, and also cleansing products. That is the less common application for phospholipids, but interesting as well as skincare. Our products are non-GMO and Cosmos approved, and we can give you a good technical support uh, to starting from the beginning. So the selection of the right product uh, for, your, uh, for your project and to the support in the selection of the equipment and uh, formulation uh, uh, support. So thank you very much. Uh, it's now a, a pleasure to introduce my colleagues, jean -Vie. Uh, she's the assistant marketing manager of uh, VAV Lipids, and she will talk about uh, the marketing aspects of the use of, of uh, phospholipids in cosmetics. Thank you, Janami. Feel free to start whenever you want. Yeah, uh, so thank you, Milena, for uh, the detailed description about VAV and a uh, crisp introduction as well. And a very good morning to all our attendees for today. So we are here today to discuss and understand the basic concept of phospholipids, their advantages of use in cosmetics and the technical attributes that they bring in. So whenever a new ingredient is introduced to a segment or to a market, uh, the fo formulators or uh, nowadays the conscious customers also uh, think why do we use these ingredients in our preparations first thing so i'll just try to explain this question so first things first let's first understand what are phospholipids so our body is made up of organs organs are made up of tissues and tissues in turn are made up of cells so here in the picture we can see a cell and which has a outer cover called as a cell wall if we magnify the cell wall a bit we can see a bilayer of polar lipids so the cell wall is basically made up of a bilayer of polar lipids and these lipids are called phospholipids so if we magnify we can see a single moiety of phospholipid what we can conclude is that these phospholipids are the essential lipids of all biological membranes so now that we know that the phospholipids are a part of every living cell it then implies that they are extracted from natural sources such as plants and animals. VAV's current focus is uh, plants, soya and sunflower, and in animals, it's egg, and the milk uh, uh, ingredients are under development. Few of our grades are cosmos attested. All our grades are non-genetically modified and non-chemically modified. The plant-based listings can be used in vegan preparations as well. Also, I'm glad to tell you that lecithins are 
manufactured under the principles of green chemistry. So right from the extraction, they're extracted with ecologically friendly processes. There is absolutely no discharge into the environment, no effluence, no wastewater. So zero discharge manufacturing facility, no beauty pollution at all. So even if the lecithins are used in products like face washes or wash of products or sunscreens and you have a beach bath, uh, so there is no damage absolutely to any plant, animal or human health. They are non-toxic elements. As Milena covered in her introduction uh, that lecithins are multifunctional, so yes, because they are, uh, you know, they have many properties at a time. So they also contribute to many functions at a time. So if, for example, if we use a lysolecithin, lesiva SMAP, for making a micellar water, if we use it as an emulsifier, and from micellar water, we are expecting to be a cleanser. It also gives humectancy to the preparation and leaving your skin hydrated and supple. So for example, one more uh, instance I can share is if we use uh, these phospholipids to prepare liposomal uh, formulations, which is their well-known application, uh, the actives are delivered. That is the main role that they play. But also the remnant vesicle gets absorbed into our skin, restoring and repairing the epidermal lipids. For the formulators, these ingredients are formulation friendly ingredients, so they are compatible and synergistic with most of the cosmetic ingredients that are commonly used. The current trend is that of uh, low energy using preparations, so these ingredients are best suited for cold process preparations and neutral pH preparations, uh, which are generally recommended to have healthy skin and hair. They are label friendly alternatives to synthetic ingredients. So currently uh, we have stricter or stringent uh, regulatory aspects. So these ingredients fit well into them. Also, the main point is that these ingredients having all the previously described attributes are safe. So they are affirmed as grass, so generally regarded as safe by the US FDA. They are assessed by the Cosmetic Ingredient Review Expert Panel. And due to our advanced manufacturing facility, we are able to eliminate the allergenic part that is there in the soya lecithins. And so they are non-allergens and suitable for all skin types. So in my conclusion, I can say that lecithins are power packed, safe, natural, multifunctional and formulation friendly ingredients, which are manufactured under the principle of green chemistry. And with this, I pass the stage back to Milena and thank you for your attendance. Thank you very much, Janavi, for your nice presentation. It's now the time to explore the technical aspects. I'm glad to introduce my colleague, my colleague Tanvi. She's an assistant manager, scientific, and she, um, she will talk more about properties and formulation guidelines. Well, <laughs> talk about technical aspects for phospholipids. <laughs> it's not easy because there are many 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 things to say you can find a very huge bibliography uh, on the efficacy and the properties of uh, of uh, phospholipids not only in cosmetics but you know all the application and we have a full range of products to show you that uh, it's quite impossible to talk about everything today uh, so we decided to mention the most relevant aspects uh, in terms of uh, technical uh, from the technical point of view and we decided to be uh, less focused on the product list you will receive later all the information and we can go on details uh, on each product uh, uh, and for your project 
we decided to be more focused on STEM application to show you how you can use it in different applications. Uh, talking about the portfolio of products, I can say we have a, a full range for each function. We can offer you different solution. Um, just to give you an example, for emulsification, we can suggest you a product uh, that is better to be used in a water-based formulation or in cleansing, and other solutions that are more suitable for formulation very rich in fat. Uh, we will see on um, some additional details about lysolacetin that jean we already mentioned. This is one of our best and very special products. We have also a good portfolio of products coming from uh, sunflower instead of soya because the request of sunflower is increasing. So, Tandy, if you're yes. ready, thank you very much. Uh, yes. Feel free to start. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, hi, everyone. A uh, very good morning to all the attendees present today for this session. And before starting with the technical aspects of phospholipids, uh, I would really like to thank Milena. Milena, thanks for introduction of VAV and a Chris introduction for me and Janvi. Uh, so let's begin with this session. Uh, so my colleague uh, Janvi has already covered the fundamentals of phospholipids. Uh, in this session, now let us understand what are the technical aspects, what are the uh, properties of phospholipids, uh, so that we can utilize them more uh, optimally or more efficiently in the desired uh, formulation. Uh, as we all know, as Janvi has repeatedly mentioned in her session, in fact, Milena also mentioned, uh, these molecules, phospholipids, they're multifunctional in nature. And this is because of their different properties. To understand their multifunctionality, their different application, let us study each and every property listed here. The very first property is amphiphilicity. Okay, so why are these phospholipids called amphiphilic? To understand this, let us have a look at the structure of the phospholipids. As we all can see, this is a polar head which is hydrophilic in nature, that is water loving moiety. And these are fatty tails, which are hydrophobic in nature, that is water heating properties. Hence, the phospholipid structure contains both hydrophilic and hydrophobic moiety. The entire structure is amphiphilic in nature. Uh, because of this, it acts as an emulsifier, a uh, surface active agent, wetting agent, etc. Uh, they are uh, biodegradable and biocompatible ingredients. Uh, phospholipids form homogeneous and stable emulsions and due to their multifunctionality, they can be used in both water in oil and oil in water emulsion. Uh, VAV have few range of products going for this kind of application. For example, Lesiva Ace, which can go into high fat loading product, uh, Lesiva Imix, Imix Plus, etc. The next property is self-assembly. This property is unique property of phospholipids. When phospholipids are hydrated, uh, they either form liposomes or micelles. Uh, when a bilayer vesicle is formed, it is known as liposome. And when unilayer vesicle is formed, it is known as micelle. Both phospholipids and micelles can encapsulate the active and increase their per percutaneous absorption. Uh, if you look at the structure of liposome, the hydrophilic or the water loving active is encapsulated in the core, whereas the hydrophobic active is encapsulated in the fatty acid tail. Similarly, in micelles, it is micelles and reverse micelles where both the actives are encapsulated. Both liposomes and micelles increase the bioavailability of actives. Uh, we are, we are recently we are hearing more about micellar water. So phospholipids, uh, are, can induce micelles and these lipids can be used to produce micellar water. Uh, why phospholipids in micellar water? So because of their good emulsification property, they can be used for makeup removal. And also they act as humectant, uh, which absorb the moisture from the atmosphere and leaves your skin sepal without disrupting the skin lipid structure. It also inhibits the trans epidermal water loss. Hence, micelles can be used uh, into micellar water. 
uh, we have lasiva smap uh, which can be used to form micellar water the next property is skin repair okay so as we all are aware skin is the largest organ of the body and to maintain this skin structure a skin barrier function should perform well uh, now what is the skin barrier function skin barrier function is nothing uh, but the dis uh, the disruption of the lipids which are present in the skin layer uh, to perform to have the skin barrier function well our skin constitution should remain well and the constitution of the skin is protected by a hydrolipid film which covers the skin and the lipids which are present in the extracellular space of the epidermal cells the fatty acid composition of phospholipid mimics the fatty acid composition of the hydrolipid film and the lipids present in the extracellular space hence phospholipids are rightly known or called as the second skin so as we can see the fatty acid composition of phospholipids is equivalent to that of hydrolipid and the epidermal lipids uh for skin repair function we offer few grades like lasiva diffuse lasiva leet etc the next application is lipolysis lipolysis is a very common a uh, word known in cosmetic industry and it is more commonly known as body sculpting or spot reduction of fats we must have heard or we know about the cosmetic clinics uh, which use injection with micro needles uh, which deliver a lipolytic agent to the middle layer of the skin which is the mesolayer this practice is commonly known as mesotherapy but now what role does phospholipid has here the lipolytic agent when delivered to the middle layer they emulsify the fat and that fat is metabolically eliminated from the body phospholipids play a very crucial role and a dual role because they themselves act as an emulsifying agent to emulsify the fat and when with co administered with another lipolytic agent they enhance its activation within synergistic action hence phospholipids are used in the treatment of lipolysis uh other than injectable a topical formulation can also be prepared to have a similar kind of effect using phospholipids this also helps to tighten the skin uh the products we offer in this range is lasiva leet uh lasiva diffuse plus etc the last property for today which we are going to see is hair growth regrowth and hair care so as we all know hair growth cycle is into three phases the anagen phase the catagen phase and the telogen phase uh, the faster is the conversion from the telogen to the anagen phase the faster is the hair growth and regrowth uh, what does phospholipid do here now so here the phospholipid acts as a catalyst the active can be delivered using phospholipid to the hair follicle rather the follicular cell which will help in regeneration of follicles and maintain the hair structure uh, other than the hair growth and regrowth uh, phospholipids and lecithin also have other hair care functions uh, such that uh, such that they act as a frizz control agent and they also maintain the structure of the hair epithelial cells okay uh, now these were the properties of phospholipids or uh, let us understand the crucial parameters which we should consider uh, during formulation when we are using phospholipids so the crew, uh, few critical parameters here the very first one is source uh, phospholipids are available from different sources but they are broadly classified as natural and synthetic lipids natural sources can be from various uh, plants such as soya bean sunflower or uh, animal source like egg etc and synthetic these are engineered molecules uh, so as we remember we have seen the phospholipid structure in these synthetic molecules we can have the desired fatty acid which we want uh, natural sources are generally polyunsaturated sources and synthetic are completely saturated lipids uh, synthetic lipids have a defined or a, def a definite uh, phase transition temperature Uh, what is phase transition temperature? 
so phase transition temperature is the temperature at which uh, the phospholipid converts from the gel phase to the liquid crystalline phase the next property is water uh, water is a very important parameter when we consider uh, using phospholipids the water should be ultra pure and deoxygenated this will help to maintain the stability of the lipids in the solution system the third property solvent system uh, for solvents there are two properties or two characteristics which are important the first is the uh, polarity and the second is the purity so polarity is important as it is uh, directly proportional to the dissolution time required for the lipid into the solvent system and the purity is important as it will prevent the uh, destabilization of ions present in the system the next property is cholesterol this is very crucial and important to be considered whenever we design a liposome or we form a liposome the cholesterol is required as it will maintain the structural integrity and rigidity of the liposomes a presence of cholesterol will prevent uh, the formation of leaky liposomes on storage or during the shelf life of the product uh, the preferred uh, ratio of cholesterol to lipid can be 0.25 to 1 and it can be optimized or it can be defined on depending on depending on the final formulation as well the last one is the choice of equipment choice of equipment is also very crucial uh, because it directly affects the dissolution parameters of the lipids and the dissolution is very much important when it comes for liposome formulation high shear or high uh, high pressure homogenizers are preferred Uh, we can help in selecting the brands or you, the uh, equipment model depending on the uh, formulation or the desired uh, properties required of liposomes okay <laughs> let us now run through few formulations which vhav has developed uh, the very first is micellar water uh, i had uh, covered in last slide that lessiva smap can be a good micelle inducing agent Uh, other than micelle inducing it can act as an emulsifier humectant and an emollient property also so we have formulated a formulation of micellar water uh, here is the formulation i i hope you all can see this i hope it is visible to all attendees uh, to show the effect of micellar water or uh, smap i would just apply This is a matte lipstick which I'm going to apply on my wrist. I hope this is visible. I'll just pour some quantity of the micellar water, and I'll try to show the effect in the makeup removal action. So this is the micellar water. if you all can see so there is no stain of lipstick left so this is a natural emulsifier uh, which can be used uh, for makeup removal and in today's era unknowingly we use harsh chemicals or you know synthetic molecules on our skin which eventually will disrupt your skin functioning uh, it will leave back your skin dry scaly but the benefits of smap is that it's multifunctional uh, it will induce micelles it will remove the makeup because of its emulsifier action and it will leave the skin supple and hydrated uh, because of its humectant property and without harming your skin uh, what are the usps of this ingredient so this is a cosmos attested ingredient uh, it is multifunctional as covered and it gives a skin a very light feel the next uh, formulation is body milk and on purpose we are showing this formulation because it is again prepared with lessima smap and as you can understand the multifunctional effect of the ingredient here the role which we want to show it is is its emulsification and humectant property so this is the body milk which is formulated using lessiva smap i hope it is visible to all attendees i'll just apply some of it 
to show its emollient properties, its easy spreadability, and its rapid absorption. So as you all can see, the effect of Lasiva SMAP, the spreadability is instant, absorption is rapid, and the skin is non-greasy but hydrated. So Lasiva SMAP is a very good humectant. The USP again remains the same. It is Cosmos attested. It has excellent spreadability properties as demonstrated now, and it leaves the skin supple, hydrated, and non-greasy. The third innovative formulation is cream shampoo. Now, why innovative formulation? Here we have used one of our ingredient that is Lasiva Imix Plus. Uh, Lasiva Imix Plus acts as an emulsifier, and it also has an anti-frizz control effect. So instead of shampooing and then conditioning your hair or using some kind of serum uh, to make your hair manageable, a uh, cream shampoo is uh, quick and a very good uh, option because it will be it won't be harsh on your skin. Uh, it won't uh, give you a scaly uh, scalp because of over dryness because. Uh, uh, lecithins and phospholipids they have a humectant property they won't be harsh on your skin and secondly they will control the frizz as well so the usp is it, it's a natural emulsifier and it will control a uh, control the frizz frizziness of your hair uh thank you all uh for this tech attending this technical session on phospholipids uh, and uh, to understand uh, in detail our product offering uh, different products, their application, uh, I would really uh, request you all to connect to our partner Milena. And of course, uh, we can discuss one project and you know take it ahead. Thank you. Thanks, Milena. Thank you very much, Tanvi, uh, for this uh, very, very, very uh, clear presentation. And Thank to you all for to join us and for your attention. Is there any questions? Uh, just uh, some service information. Uh, on your screen, I suppose on your right, usually it is on your right, uh, you can see <coughs> the dashboard of the platform. Uh, if it is not, uh, the menu is not open, uh, you can open it, uh, you, can, you can see an orange button with a, a white arrow. So you, if you click on this uh, button, uh, you can find the, the space to see, uh, to see questions, to, to write, sorry, questions. So um, uh, I inform you, meantime, I, I take the opportunity to inform you that in the next days, you will receive all the information, the presentation, uh, of the the webinar and all the details about uh, our uh, uh, our products we will remain at your disposal for uh, any additional information uh, we will be glad to evaluate it with you the best choice for your project and formulation so uh, we have some some question uh, are your products china compliant Uh, all our products are as per the uh, cosmetic standards and it can be used across various geographies. Okay. Uh, do they have also suspending, uh, sorry, do they have also suspending properties? Uh, yes. So as mentioned in one of my slides, uh, because of their amphiphilic nature, they are well used as a wetting agent also. So yes, they can be used in suspensions. Uh, yeah, but it depends like which grade, what is required and you know. So one of the example is Lesiva Ace. It is a very good suspending agent and it is used in suspensions also. Okay, so we will give more information uh, to the person who made this question and some example. Another question is, which is the composition of uh, Lesiva Imix Plus? It's a microfiltered liquid lecithin, basically. Okay. Also in this case, uh, we will uh, follow up with some additional information. Yes. Uh, another question. Um, I want to know if you have studies 
for the mesotherapy and the hair growth effect of the phospholipids. Sorry, can you please repeat, Melina? Yeah. Uh, I want to know if you have studies for the mesotherapy and for a hair growth effect of phospholipids. So for mesotherapy, Milena, I would like to mention that there are few commercial products with phospholipid already on market, both uh, topical and uh, injectable. But the market is huge and the localized fat reduction in cosmetic industries is going day by day. But the brands available are really handful. And yes, we can suggest the grade which can be used in both topical and injectable. Yeah. Yes. I can uh, just add that you can find uh, many, many information, uh, some article, some bi bibliography yes, about yes. this application yes. uh, in terms of efficacy and as well in terms of safety for both topical and injectable use. And the second request for hair grown to stimulate hair grown. Uh, did you make some tests or as well uh, is public information in uh, bibliography and so, so on? Uh, the frisk control uh, test, yes, I mean, it's not uh, well documented, but uh, the cream shampoo that we have made, we have uh, tried it across our team and a uh, few more people and we have found good results about it. Yes. Um, apart from this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's important to mention that the best product to stimulate hair growth, to promote hair growth, is based on uh, uh, egg, because mm -hmm. uh, egg is, is the main product for uh, this yes. application. Yes. And anyhow, we will, uh, uh, we will send them additional information also on this topic. Uh, yes. Then, do you provide technical transfer services and help in the scaling up of the cosmetic formulation? Uh, yes, Milena. So if uh, customers can, you know, since there are different grades of lecithin and they have different functionalities uh, and the critical factors, uh, we can do it from scratch. We can, after discussing the project with customers, we can help uh, with uh, selecting the correct grade of lipid, uh, then the correct equipment and the R&D setup and also the tech transfer. Yes, we do that. Okay, thank you. Uh, is it possible to mix different phospholipids if a combination of mycelles and the liposomes desired? Uh, yes, but then I would wonder, I see you can mix different phospholipids, but I would wonder what kind of application it would be. So <laughs> theoretically, yeah. yes, but practically <laughs> you need to understand the application, the project, and of course, yeah. But okay. theoretically, yes. Uh, I don't have the detail, just this question. <laughs> so what we can say is yes, but uh, it's quite complicated and uh, we have to evaluate yes. if, the reason why you want to proceed in this way exactly. and uh, if it is the right choice. So please contact us for uh, all the details so we can share uh, uh, more information about this. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, again, uh, questions about technology transfers, you already uh, answered very well. Very well. Yes. Um, there is a, a question about uh, synthetic phospholipids. You mentioned about synthetic phospholipids. Can these be used for cosmetic applications? Uh, so I just mentioned about synthetic phospholipids because it is one of the source which is to be, you know, it, just because then it's a platform I mentioned about the different lipids available. But yes, they're not preferred for cosmetic preparations. Yeah. Because they they're more into novel, they're more into drug delivery and everything, and not for cosmetic yes. for critical critical, yes. critical actives. Yeah. Or they cancer more, therapy or something like that. They are most common and largely used in pharmaceutical application instead yes. of cosmetics. So we can say it's not the main target for cosmetics. Yes. Uh, yes. Especially because the natural lipids are closest to the skin yes, naturally definitely. So, yes absolutely absolutely this is the main uh, the, the main uh, answer <laughs> and the main reason why they are more focused on pharma and not to cosmetic yes yes absolutely another question oh, it's, uh, is the characteristic curvature parameter available for these lecithins 
Uh, can you please repeat your question? We missed the first part. Is the characteristic curvature parameter available for these lecithins? Characteristic curvature. Uh, yeah. Characteristics of lecithins, I mean, uh, the technical characteristics are, yes, of course it is available, but it depends on the project and the kind of requirement, and we do share it on project basis. Okay. Uh, I think uh, we we will need uh, uh, some additional information uh, to, to, to understand uh, which is the parameter yes. uh, the, 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 this person is asking for us. So, Absolutely. Uh, uh, I can, uh, uh, it's the curvature parameter. He mentioned curvature okay. parameter available for this lecithin. I don't know if it is linked to phase transition temperature because usually yes. we talk about phase transition temperature. Anyhow, uh, I will call you um, in the next, uh, or today or in the next days so when you are available and uh, you can yes. explain me better what yes. do you need and for which product so yes. we can yes. go on details uh, on this question. Uh, the last question I can see uh, is um, a comparison between uh, sunflower and soybean products. Talking about emulsification pro properties, uh, is there any differences between the properties of products coming from sunflower or from soybean? And which is the best one in terms of emulsification properties and stabilization properties for an emulsion? Uh, okay, so for emulsification properties, there is no preliminary difference between the lipids coming from sunflower and soya. And uh, this is just for different sources. Uh, the basic difference can be the fatty acid profile, but in performance, both the lipids are equivalent. So there won't be, uh, there is no, there is no actually, you know, which is better or which is best. It is just a preference question and nothing else. Okay. Uh, as I said during my, my part, what is uh, uh, very, very important is to give us some information about the formulation, the project. I know you have secrets, but it's important for us to, uh, to know very well which, uh, which, are, which is the aim, what you have to do with phospholipids. This, helps, this can help us uh, to evaluate the best products in terms of purity, properties, and so on, and to take care of the follow-up. This is uh, very, very important because every time uh, <laughs> we have to mention this. Uh, we have another question. Uh, does Amic Italia stock uh, all of our phospholipid grades in Italy? Okay, this is a question for me. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, of course. Uh, we, Amic Italia is a trader, so we have a very good uh, system of warehouses we have different warehouses and uh, uh, to make stock is our uh, is our job so of course we, we can make stock uh, and have uh, products uh, ready for uh, for the shipments depending uh, okay this is a general description because uh, we can evaluate uh, for each product but yes we we, we do stocks it's our job <laughs> thank you I think that's all. Is there any other question? If someone uh, wants to make questions in Italian, feel free to do it. I can help you. Yes, another uh, another uh, question. Can you please tell us about your different uh, accreditations and certificates in Europe? Uh, yes. Uh, so just uh, to mention this, uh, VAV believes in producing and supplying quality lipids. So the factory is a GMP approved facility where we uh, produce phospholipids. And uh, basically we have recently received WCL also for a few of our pharma, uh, this thing, pharma facility. So yes. And all our uh, ingredients which are promoted in cosmetics are Cosmos attested. So that is an additional benefit. Thank you. Okay, just let me wait if there is any other, any other questions coming. No, I think that's all we answered to uh, all of the of the questions.
Uh, okay. So thank you very much to Janvi and, uh, and Tambi for your uh, great support. Thank you very much to all uh, of you uh, for attending and for your, for your attention. Um, we are at your disposal for any additional uh, information and I wish you a very, a very nice day and a very nice end of the, of the week. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Melanie. Thank you. Thanks, Our everyone. Pleasure. Our pleasure. Bye-bye. Our pleasure. Bye-bye. Thank you.